everybody, Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. So today is resin day and I have this mold here that I bought from Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out. She has a YouTube channel and an eBay store, makes her own molds and they're just fantastic high quality. I encourage you to check it out. So I'm going to do some cool iridescent-y, I hope, looking hearts. These are real deep, and uh, so I'm only going to fill them partially with clear as you watch as I go, and then I will try to get an iridescent look uh, using some white filler stones and some iridescent mica powder and glitter, and you'll see how it comes out. But it's a really cute mold, and they've already got the holes there for tying to ribbon or rope or what have you. So the, I was really excited about getting these and trying them out. So let me just say a few more things while you watch. First, thanks to all my subscribers, old and new. Uh, and I appreciate all of you, and especially my supporters. Let me give a shout out to a few channels that are always giving me a shout out, and that would be The Crafting Nook, uh, Wanda's Blessed Creations, Diamond Sun Tarot, and Sharon Lindley of Vivid Days. And I am going to be doing a collaboration with Sharon for September 3rd, it's going to be resin and mixed media. I'm real excited, so keep an eye out for that. So now, just watch, and I'll be back at the very end for the unmolding.
Okay, so we're going to cover overnight and then ready to unmold. These popped out really easily. I'm very happy. I did have a little bit of overflow, which I could pull off very simply off the with my fingernail. And as you can see, the stones came out looking pretty cool. I would have liked the iridescence to be a little more pronounced but all in all I'm pleased and as you can see the little overflow there filling up the hole easy enough to get out especially after just 24 hours cut it with scissors or an exacto knife and it's gone no problem next I really want to try these with some semi-transparent inks and glitter and hang them in the window I think they'd be great sun catchers so anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. I also do acrylic art. So my friends, till next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.